This week's video is on importing our own data into uh, SPSS. So we're just going to click New Data Set. And whenever it opens, you want to go to Data View. And each row here represents a different participant's answers to a question under study. And each column represents a different question that you've asked that participant. Now we're going to import our data in variable view. So we're going to go to our first row, um, and each different row represents a different question that you're asking in your study. So the name is where you're going to put an abbreviated um, example of your question. So for here, we're going to put S1 for stats. And we're not going to change anything from the numeric or the width or the decibels. But for our label, we are going to input our entire question we're asking. So do you enjoy your stats class is going to be our question. Now we're importing our values, which are our answers that we, we have to that question, and we're assigning a value to each. So for yes, we're going to label it one. For no, we'll label it two and add. And for three, that will be our, we prefer not to answer. Then add all of those and click OK. We can always return to our values to look at those by clicking on the blue box. We're not changing anything in missing data or columns or alignment, but for our measure, this is a nominal measure. So we're just going to click that in that column and we're changing nothing else there. Now we're going to add a second question. We're going to label this S2 because it can't start with a number. It's numeric. We're not going to change our width or decimals. And our label is our question, do you like your stats, professor? Now we're going to assign values to each of our answers. Value of 1 is yes, and we're going to add that. And for no, we're going to assign that a 2. And for prefer not to answer, we're going to assign that a value of 3. And then we're going to click OK. We're not going to change anything with our missing uh, data, columns, alignment, but that is a nominal measure. So now if you click on the 1 in the variable view, that'll take us to where we can input our participants' answers. So let's say our first participant loves stats and her professor, so we're going to put ones for yes. And our second person does not like stats and would prefer not to answer about the professor. And so this is just showing if you click the A and 1 again, that that changes it from the numerical view to a qualitative view where you can see your questions.